Welcome back to my channel, Divine Timeless Cosmic Tarot. If this is your first time coming across the platform, welcome. Come on in. Let's have a conversation. There's a 99.9% .9 chance the Spirit guided you here because this is where you're supposed to be. And so you're being obedient, listening to your intuition, your higher self, and you clicked on the video, or maybe you clicked off, whatever it is, I support you in the energy. I just feel like whatever you're supposed to get, you already got. You just need additional clarification by way of confirmation for what it is that you already know that you know you know. Do they know that you know? Yeah, whoever they are, they know that you know that you already know, and that's okay. Come on in. Peace be with you. Let me be the first to say, ah, salam alaikum. Let me also be the first to say, shalom, pause, blessings, namaste. Listen, we love you for free over here. Wrap your arms around yourself and remind yourself that you got every right to be here, a part of the universe. I have every right to be here in this universe, just like the stars and the sun and the moon and Jupiter is doing his thing and the planets are aligning for us. Listen, come on in. Maybe that was a really intense, you know, introduction. Maybe it was uh, necessary. Maybe you needed that. Whatever it is, I know I needed it. I support myself in the energy. <laughs> Listen, take what resonates, okay? If it doesn't apply, let it fly. If you are returning back to the platform, you already know what it is. You are my beautiful, amazing, incredible, vibrant, happy, genuinely loving on self, high priestess, high priest, divine feminine, divine masters. Did I say divine masters? I meant to say divine masculines. Divine masculines? Y'all out here being divine masters? Okay, well, come on in. There are no mistakes in what it is that I say because my say has been blessed. In the famous words of El Boogie, I baptize my lips every time I take sips. So these lips and this tongue has to speak the truth because this whole physical vessel and this soul within me is dedicated to the divine by way of truth and clarity. Whatever you do, I hope you get what you need to get out of this reading. Listen, Soul Tribe, I love you so much. You know that I do. Soul Tribe. Love and light. Soul Tribe. Shine. your shine on you better keep shining and listen we are not curbing our enthusiasm we are happy on this timeline everybody wasn't invited but that's why it was a narrow path listen if everybody was meant to be here they would have answered the call we all had the opportunity right many are called right a whole bunch of people got the call but very few answered and were chosen so here we are i love y'all so much I've already prayed and slayed, and I just came up out of a, what was it, like a three-hour prayer slash musical? <laughs> the things I do in my humble abode, honey. Listen, I was praying and, listen, praying for other people, praying for myself, praying for those who are praying for me, good vibes, sending out light, tossing light, swinging light. If you see some light, just flash across your candles that's me sending you more light like listen and I receive all the light too that is also being sent to me so I just came up out of a real meditation y'all my left ear is ringing already and my nose is itching okay Archangel Michael what's going on here give me current energy what is that what is that energy that I'm feeling what is it that the universe wants us to be made aware of okay so listen listen they're mad they've been mad we know that so now what okay yeah okay what else is new okay somebody's dedicated to being angry arrest warrants busted job interference showing up on your job co-workers plotting on you bringing drama to the workplace damn y'all hear the sirens this shit is for real <laughs> Arrest warrants busted. 
Job interference. So somebody was trying to bring drama to you. Damn. Like literally. Arrest warrant. Somebody could be getting busted. Like right now. Damn. In real time, arrest warrants busted, job interference, drama. A Ken Searing might be significant. Texas might be significant. What the hell's going on? Arkansas might be significant. Minnesota, excuse me, might be significant. And North Dakota. Y'all hear the sirens? Damn. Prayed up and slayed up. Give me one more card for arrest warrants and job interference. What's going on? The spirit is saying job interference could also be somebody lurking and murking around your home. If you work from home, that would be your work space. It's an emergent situation. I ain't heard sirens all day, y'all. Okay. Timing, spirit says. Confirmation. Anything else? Fake love, secret hater. Okay. So you got somebody that's showing you fake love. Okay, but really they're a secret hater. But you know, when you're tapped in, there really are no secrets. You know, you know what these people are up to. Okay, didn't I say that you know, that they know, that you know they know, that they know you know? Yeah, you know. Okay, yeah, they don't like you. They're mad at you. What else is new? I also saw business success. So something that you're doing is successful because you're blocking out all the haters. Yeah, they're not showing any love to you, I just heard. Okay, that's fine. We don't want the hate. We don't need it anymore. We can't do anything with it. You know, it used to be fun to just transmute it, you know, and turn it and turn it into light and keep it for ourselves. But now we're like, nah, you keep that. Remember when that used to be fun? You'd be like, oh, they're hating on me. So you would take that energy and just kind of transmute it. Now we don't do nothing with it. We just look at it and just let it die. If we notice it, it's only because it's, it's trying to get your attention. So you recognize it, okay? <laughs> You're aware that it's there, but you absolutely refuse to absorb it. Listen, job interference, what is going on? Arrest warrants, clarify what's going on. Fake love, secret haters. Somebody could have an online business, okay? Yeah, somebody's watching, I can't make it up. Page of Swords is like talking, gossiping, looking. Talking, watching, hating, plotting on you, okay? Page of Swords is just obsessively looking at you, okay? Talking, gathering information. What's going on? Ooh, smells like a stalker. Somebody's way down, child. Okay? Ten of Wands. Somebody's stressed out, watching you be successful at something that you do, coming to your workspace and place. Again, if you work from home, somebody could have been lurking around your home. Somebody's asked to get arrested, too. For being around your house. Oh, I just heard, uh, what is it called? When you get a restraining order, something of that nature. Yeah, somebody was very much in passionate pursuit to hate on you, like excited about it. And I hear you saying, what else is new? But you're successful. Yeah, somebody's obsessed. I can't make it up. Look at this here. The devil. Somebody's obsessed with you, watching you. Page of Swords, obsessed with watching you and talking about you. And they're stressed out. Like somebody is like stressing themselves out, watching you, trying to interfere with your job, something that you're doing for work. Even if this is not something that you do online, just energetically, somebody's focused on you. Like energetically, they're watching you. They're thinking about you. They're talking about you. They're whatever. Just the devil, the page of swords, 10 of wands, and the knight of wands. Child, what is going on? The emperor, okay? The emperor is usually somebody that's a boss, a leader. Um, you know, they give good advice. Aries energy. Clarify the emperor. Why is that in the upright? That does not fit this circumstance. Oh, because you got somebody coming in to give you love. So somebody's watching to try to see what you got going on. Yeah, who's making love to my old baby type of an energy? But somebody doesn't like you. They hate you. Fake love, secret hater. Somebody hates you. Hate is a very nasty energy, you know? It's a horrible thing to be addicted to, you know what I mean? It really is a hell of a drug. And somebody's addicted to hating on you. Clarify what's going on. Somebody's watching somebody give you some type of an offer or people love on you. It's a queen of swords in the reverse, okay? Queen of swords in the reverse. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Mm. 
Queen of Swords in the reverse is somebody who's malicious. Uh, they gossip. They're manipulative. They're unhappy. They're cutthroat. They have no feelings. They don't care who they hurt to get what it is that they want. But somebody's unsuccessful. Somebody is dissatisfied with whatever type of information that they're trying to relay about you or whatever type of interference they're attempting to bring. It's a failure. And this is why they're in the Ten of Wands. So they're stressed out because they can't stop you from doing something that is bringing in a lot of success. And then you got this energy here. The emperor and the lovers, people love you. Somebody's doing this obsessively, night and day, day and night. Clarify the emperor and the lovers. What's going on here? Why is somebody getting arrested though? What's going on? Three of wands? Because somebody's moving forward? Big Aries energy. Big fire sign energy. You can have Aries anywhere in your chart by way of placements. You know, take it as it resonates with the three of wands is foresight. The lovers is lovers, okay? People love you. You loving on somebody or you're looking forward to moving forward from somebody that's completely obsessed. So this queen of swords could have been with this fire sign, okay? Maybe he went, yeah, you know, a little knight of wands energy, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, or no thank you, ma'am, or he don't want to hit that no more. And somebody's in the queen of swords in the rebirth. Somebody's like, I'm like, somebody's addicted to somebody. Page of swords, they're watching this emperor. Yeah, listen, judgment. Karma's here. Something's being made fair. Clarify the emperor and the lovers. Somebody's got a stalker on their hand, divine masculine. Could be a divine that Yeah, listen, whoever this emperor is, somebody's got their shit together too. It's a whole bunch of money. Somebody's financially stable, mentally stable. The emperor is somebody that's a boss. Somebody that's loving on themselves. Divine masculine energy. Child, wait a minute. What is going on? Who's man is this? Look, I'm like, whose man is this? <laughs> listen. Clarify this queen of swords in the reverse. Fake love, secret hater. Not of wands, ten of wands, page of swords, and pissed off and messed up and pissed on and to the highest point of festivity, page of wands, because they're getting some type of information about this emperor that they're no longer interested, or they just kind of ran through them. You know, this is this is like run through energy. You kind of you ran through, you stopped for a little bit, you gave somebody the knight of wands energy, but somebody is done. Somebody's a full grown, full blown emperor. Somebody's leaving something very immature behind with the page of wands. And the Knight of Wands, they're leaving it behind. And it's over. It's done. And somebody's pissed off, stressed out. Knight of Wands to the Page of Wands. This Queen of Swords could have felt like they were confusing this masculine or keeping them like in a very lustful energy. But this person like hates you. Like it's a thin line between love and hate, but it's a, it's a thick ass line right now with this hate and hate. Somebody really is like crazy. It's a tower. Somebody's ass could get arrested for going towards somebody that they don't need to be around or some type of emergency situation, restraining order. What are they doing? I just heard she wants him back. Clarify the emperor and the lovers and the three of up. Yeah, look. Eight of swords. Somebody's ass is going to jail. The Eight of Swords in the reverse is like somebody breaking free from a toxic connection or somebody that was attempting to keep them bound and trapped in. What the hell? Like, this is the kind of person that wants to lock you in the cellar, divine masculine, and have their way with you so that nobody will have you. But with the Eight of, uh, eight of Swords in the reverse, this person could have tried to get this masculine caught up in something legal and that shit backfired with the Eight of Swords. Maybe they tried to get them arrested. Okay, somebody wants to really make somebody's life hell. Like, um, like somebody's really dedicated to this shit. Like, girl, it's what you do. You get up every day and, you know, what, what's going on here? You know, you can't do a facial, go get your pedicure or something. Like, I don't know. Find some new vegan recipes, you know. I'm not a vegan, y'all, just so you know. I just love vegan food. There are certain things that I still eat, just so y'all know, because I know I put my recipes out there. But I just felt like I needed to say that by way of a disclaimer. I do not eat pork, though, okay? Sometimes it just kind of depends on my mood for certain things. But nevertheless, I just wanted to put that out there. But I am loving the vegan food, y'all. I've been eating it a lot, probably for like the last 90 days, like big time. Okay, but I still make my greens with a little smoked turkey. You know, I do. I need that flavor. Uh, but I just had to toss it out there. Maybe I'll start like a little cooking channel. 
as my uh, recipes evolve into whatever it is I come up with in the kitchen. Nevertheless, that was random, okay? That had absolutely nothing to do with this reading, but in a way it did because somebody don't have the recipe and somebody's recipe ain't recipe to get this person back. Child, somebody's a hater. Fake love, secret hater, child, what is going on? This man has broken free. Somebody feels free from this energy and they're happy to get away and run. A lot of fire sign energy, Leo energy, the sun. Somebody's happy. Show me the lover. Somebody could be going towards somebody new. The empress, I don't know. They could be going towards somebody new. Page of cups. Okay, some type of information, some type of an apology. Sorry, not sorry, but I got a goat type of an energy. You know, like somebody broke free. Yeah, look. Somebody's going towards somebody else. Two of cups. I can't make it up. And whoever this other person is, they're in their head about it. Look at the nine of swords and the five of pentacles. Somebody feels left out in the cold, pissed off, pissed on by the universe, nasty energy, because somebody's leaving them. Here's the thing, I'll say this time and time again, and I support myself in the energy. You can't make somebody be with you that doesn't want to be with you. And even if you do something to make them stay with you, it's like, what are you going to do? You just want somebody misery and misery with you and miserable and trapped and bound and they looking at you and you looking at them and they like, damn, I wish I could get away from you. Like, what the hell type of sick, twisted, cruel and unusual ass punishment is this? You know what I mean? Like, it's a no. For this masculine, somebody broke free. Eight of swords in the reverse. Somebody, like I said, arrest warrant. Somebody could have tried to disrupt somebody's job or try to cause some type of drama to get them caught up. Job interference. They're bringing drama to the workplace. Mm, somebody's saying, if I can't have you, then nobody will. Yeah, this is a thin line between love and hate, which is really obsession. <laughs> Clarify the sun, the love is in the three of wands. And the Ten of Pentacles, somebody's going towards somebody else. Yeah, and they're standing their ground. Whoever this emperor is, listen, they're grounded. They're stable. Seven of Wands, they're protecting their energy. They're talking to their ancestors. Seven of Wands is like divine intervention, angelic intervention. Three of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, clarify that. Yeah, listen, and they're doing it in private. Seven of Swords. Somebody is like, like protecting their endeavors, protecting their plans. They're not divulging their plans. So somebody's watching them, page of swords. They're not telling people what they're doing, but they are absolutely moving forward and away from this bullshit, okay? And that's a fact. Clarify the tower between the swords and the reverse, eight of swords and the reverse, child. Listen, this person knows that this man is not coming back. She knows that this man is in his high priestess energy, that he's listening to his intuition, and here lies the tower. The tower is there because he sees this person for who she is. With the Knight of Wands energy, maybe this was a good roll in the hay. Maybe they had a really good time and some very immature, lustful energy with the devil and the Knight of Wands energy, sex, sex, whatever. But something's not built to last. Something was temporary. Something was just, okay, that was good. But like, are you just, are you just the tooted and booted, you know, type of an energy? Are you just going to toot it and boot it? Or do you have anything else going on with your life? Somebody walked away from some tooted and booted ass Thakiana ass energy, okay? And that's just the truth. Knight of Pentacles, it's all night energy. Somebody gave somebody just enough. And in the interim, they grew up. Yeah, this is the kind of situation, though, that makes somebody grow up real fast because somebody went real Queen of Swords in the reverse real fast. And it thrusted this masculine into some type of, uh, I just heard, a uh, position of accountability, Okay. So they're taking accountability for being immature in the Knight of Wands energy, but they want to break free. They're done. And somebody's really weighed down. Somebody's like, we had a good thing going. You know, why do we have to stop this? This masculine is like, this is not satisfying me. This person with the high priestess, okay, and the emperor, somebody wants their soul satisfied. This over here is satisfying their body, their physical body, keeping them bound with sex or whatever. Child, seven of swords, this person is keeping all their plans to themselves. And this is what's causing the tower and weighing somebody down because somebody's not communicating anymore with this person. Yeah, this person's going towards their wish fulfillment. They're happy about this ending. Whoever this emperor is, they're ecstatic, y'all. It's almost overwhelming the joy that I feel from this person getting the hell away from this queen of swords. Yeah, look, somebody's going towards what the divine wants them to do. They're so excited about choosing themselves and getting their wishes fulfilled. Somebody's really happy loving on themselves. Clarify what's going on. 
Two of Swords, yeah. This person had a decision to make. Two of Swords is Libra energy, you know. This also represents somebody could have been keeping something from somebody. This Queen of Swords could have been manipulating this person uh, with the hopes that this would prevent them from making some type of a solid decision, you know, to walk away or something that kind of, you know, was to delay this person. But then somebody wanted to get somebody arrested. What's going on with the Eight of Swords and the Reverse and the Arrest Warrants? What happened? Queen of Wands energy. Child, who is the Queen of Wands? What is going on? Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, what is happening here? Somebody could be attracted to a Queen of Wands. Arrest Wands busted. Why is the Queen of Wands there? The fool, because somebody's going towards their wish fulfillment. So somebody wants to cause drama, conflict, arrest warrants. Somebody could have tried to, somebody might need to get a restraining order, okay? Because whoever this person is, you know the movie A Thin Line Between Love and Hate? You remember the weirdo? She was beating herself up and then she was running to the police like, he beat me, he hurt. This is this kind of energy. Like, girl, oh. It's a thin line between love and hate. It's a thin line between love and hate. It's five o'clock in the morning. And this bitch is still up watching this man. Girl, if you don't go to sleep, bitch, you've been up all night. Go to sleep. You got trash bags under your eyes. You've been staying up watching this man trying to see where he's going. Is he going towards this queen of wands? Yes, he is. The fool, he wants to bet on somebody else. And that's okay. He's entitled to make these decisions for himself with the seven of wands and the high priestess. This person is talking to their spirit team, spirit guides, ancestors, ten of pentacles. This person is stepping into their royal lineage and they are literally becoming this beautiful emperor. Look at this emperor holding the key to life. Look at the ankh. This person is tapped in. They're seeing something about their value. This person is saying, I got women that I should have made pay for this. <laughs> Don't you just go giving that holy D away. You better <laughs> listen. The fool and the queen of wands. Somebody very attracted to somebody. It's mutual attraction. Yeah, the star. I cannot make this up. Aquarius energy. Somebody's wish fulfillment is coming in. When I think of the star, I think of hope. I think of determination. When I think of the queen of wands, I think of unapologetic, you know, authenticity, not apologizing for being authentic. High priestess energy. Listen to your intuition. Nine of cups, getting your wishes fulfilled. Somebody's in beautiful alignment with the universe. And whatever that was, it's just what it was. It's done. Was is the key word. And somebody's trying to get somebody caught up. Because they're moving towards somebody else. Yeah, look. They're trying to figure out a way to get this person caught up, locked up, messed up. The moon. Somebody could try to get somebody locked up and caught up and end up getting locked up. Okay? Because the eight of swords is in the reverse for this person. Oh, this is an emergency. I can't get this off. Hold on, y'all. Come here. Okay, Queen of Pentacles is grounded. She's stable. She's well-rounded. She's caring. She's loving. She's kind. Somebody's got their life together and somebody is wanting better. I'm just going to be honest. Something was a really hard lesson. Whatever this is, I'm just going to be real. Knight of Wands and the Devil, somebody was having a lot of sex. And somebody looked over and said, I want something more than that. Somebody, again, was not satisfying somebody. There could have been a lot of drama. Yeah, three of swords. Makeup to break up. That's all we do. First you love me, then you hate me, then you love me. Then somebody's like, oh, I'm tired of this. This is weird. Somebody had to look at themselves. <laughs> Clarify the two of swords. Somebody tried to get somebody caught up. Yeah, the two of cups. Look. Two of swords. Somebody had to make a decision about where they wanted to be. Two of cups. Somebody could be starting a friendship with somebody. 
you know, this is like endearing energy. Two of cups is equal give and take. I pour into your cup, you pour into my cup. And let's just be clear, whoever this emperor is, this person absolutely has options. With the seven of cups and the two of swords, this person is not confused anymore. With the eight of swords in the reverse, child, listen. Somebody had options and somebody's already chosen who, where they want to be. King of swords, this person had to go king of swords on this person. You know, King of Swords is diplomatic energy, going within, being real with yourself, sitting down with your higher self, being a real man, saying, listen, I don't want this anymore. But, you know, King of Swords also has to be honest with what it is that they do want, right? When conveying with yourself, having conversations about what you don't want anymore, you then have to step into what it is that you do want. And somebody's taking a leap of faith, the fool, for what they want. Wow. In lieu of what they don't want, right? Naturally, yeah, listen. Nine of Pentacles energy, okay? And the Two of Wands. Somebody's thinking to, to take another route. And this is the beautiful thing about equal give and take when you're with your spirit team. This is also the beautiful um, thing about free will. You know, we all can do what we want when we want to, when we will, when we can, when we can't. It's a choice. It's a decision. And somebody wanted to rob this masculine of his decision. With the Knight of Pentacles, somebody was trying to uh, get an offer from this person, two of wands, and make it hard for this person. So somebody could have been sleazy, you know, a sleaze bucket, you know, a little slut bucket. Maybe somebody was trying to appease this man with, with uh, something, I don't know, to get this person to come back, to give them this Knight of Pentacles energy. The magician, yeah, somebody was definitely trying to manifest an outcome. But with the Queen of Swords in the reverse and the magician, this is manipulation. This is man manipulative energy, confusion, uh, not wanting somebody to see somebody else as the best option or wanting them to choose them, meaning the Queen of Swords, them meaning them, the Queen of Swords in the reverse, as the best option. Anybody that's the Queen of Swords in the reverse, listen, yeah, this... <laughs> This person is crazy. That's all I'm going to say about that. Judgment has been called. Something's being made fair. Good karma's coming in. Ten of Cups. Wherever you're going, Emperor, you're going to be really, really happy with the Ten of Cups. You're glad and you're taking a leap of faith. Somebody could be relocating with the Fool and the Three of Wands. That's a lot of travel. That's movement. Forward movement, as a matter of fact. Yeah, you've gone through a full transformation. Look at this. Death, Scorpionic Energy. Somebody went from a Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, a Page of Wands, to an Emperor and the High Priestess, the Lovers, loving on self, and now they're going towards love. Queen of Wands, somebody's mirroring you. Somebody's very fertile. The Queen of Wands is giving me fertility, like somebody that gives birth to things and they blossom, right? With the sunflowers and the sun and the star, uh, the star, Clear, clarify the star, four of swords, Libra energy, the star, meditation, somebody could be really focused on somebody, like this is giving me meditation, thinking about somebody, focused on what it is that they want, making a wish, you know, wishing upon a star, somebody could be watching somebody with the four of swords and the star. But they're really focused on this person. Somebody's going through a full transformation. This masculine is going in to make an offer to somebody with the King of Pentacles. Okay? That pentacle is some type of offer. To work with somebody, to be friends, to be lovers, whatever this is. Somebody is like putting it all in order and they can see it. Like this right here is like, you know, making a plan, making a list and checking it twice type of an energy is what it is. Not, and the king of pentacles is somebody who's grounded and stable, making good decisions. Come through with the come through. Somebody's very easy to get along with. Somebody's learned a lot. King of pentacles. This person could be a business owner. Okay. When I think of king of pentacles, I think of boss energy. When I think of emperor, I think of leader. This is beautiful energy. Somebody did a complete 360 by way of what it was that they needed to learn. And somebody's like, my turn, it's over. It's my turn now. Somebody really wants to live their life and they're going to do it. And they're not curbing their enthusiasm with this manipulative, um, la, 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 la. manipulative, thank you. Manipulative, thank you, spirit, dang. 
It's 10, 11 on the clock. With this manipulative energy, Queen of Swords in the reverse, the Magician and the um, Knight of Wands and the Devil, somebody was trying to sell a little ass to get somebody to come back. Like, baby, you know you missed this. This person's like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Nah, I'm good. Somebody is like, like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, to get somebody to come make them an offer with the Knight of Pentacles. Well, we can just be friends. Somebody wanted to be friends with benefits with the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, listen. Nah, <laughs> somebody is like, listen. The Nine of Pentacles is solo dolo, single and self-sufficient. Somebody's like, nah, I'm good. I'm just going to stay to myself until I get what it is that I want. This is not a desperate move. Somebody's choosing to consciously be by themselves until they can get what it is they want. It's 3033 on the timer. Take it as it resonates, Ascended Masters. Nine of Pentacles is like, no, I'm good. I'm just going to stay by myself. Yeah, single, single and self-sufficient. Nine to the ten of Pentacles. Somebody's financially stable. This is never fine. You got good credit. Okay, you showing out now. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody's looking to invest or they're investing in themselves or whatever their endeavors are. You got the seven of pentacles to the nine of pentacles to the nine of cups and the ten of pentacles. Somebody is happy. Somebody's happy. I'm getting this, you know, kind of exasperated energy like, oh, like I'm so glad I'm out of that. Oh, I'm so glad this is over. Like somebody's really glad to get away from You know, it's giving adios, adivadelchi, sayonara, type of an energy, chunking up the deuces and making no apologies about it. I absolutely do support the energy. Yeah, four pentacles. Somebody is keeping their energy to themselves. Somebody is not in communique with whomever this queen of swords in a reverse here. And child is driving them at the wall, honey. Somebody is coming out as a king of wands. I cannot make this up. King of wands, honey. Very attractive energy. You know, the emperor is all the kings. King of pentacles, king of wands, like ten of swords. What is this? Somebody could have tried to flaunt something in somebody's face. Is that what they did with the ten of swords? You know, trying to make somebody jealous. Whoever this queen of swords is, this person is cutthroat. You know, that's why I slept with your friend. This person's like, I don't give a damn. He can have you. Somebody is not giving a damn. <laughs> Somebody got the keys to higher knowledge. That's what I feel. The Ten of Swords. Yeah, this person is like, clarify the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Gemini energy. Yeah, this person is trying to make this person jealous. Like, I got me somebody new. You know, Ace of Cups. This person is like, okay, good for you. Whatever this is, I don't even think this person is responding to whomever this karmic feminine is with the Four of Pentacles. They're not. Yeah, they're not. Somebody is trying their best. This person's saying all kinds of stuff to try to get a reaction out of this person because this is what they're accustomed to doing. They fight and then they make up. They fight. They, it's a thin line between love and hate. And somebody got off the merry-go-round and somebody's still in this. Like, this is what we do. You always come back. Like, but somebody's saying something really, really nasty, you know, but somehow they've been getting away with it up until this point. And somebody's like, I'm not here for it. I don't want it. Somebody could, again, be like, I got a boyfriend or I got somebody on the video or whatever it is. Child, somebody could be on the motorcycle, ten of swords. Yeah, somebody is really trying to make somebody jealous. Hold on. The cards fell down, and I'm going to take them exactly the way they fell. That's so funny. These cards are down there standing up, honey. Yeah, somebody don't want somebody. Somebody doesn't even care. This person could be blocking this person, okay, on social media. They could have blocked their phone number, text messages, eight of wands in the reverse, okay? It's like communication being blocked with the eight of wands. Wow. Somebody talking to somebody, blocking them out, ace of pentacles in the reverse. There is no reconciliation. Somebody does not want a new beginning with this person. And they're making it very, very clear. Somebody's going silent. You know, it's like, it's very, very clear. This is not what they want. Four of Pentacles, somebody's holding back conversation. They're holding back. Somebody's not talking to somebody. So whatever somebody is texting them, whoever the, whatever this Queen of Swords is saying to try to piss this person off, they're not even getting the messages. I don't know if this person even isn't aware that they're blocked. Okay, you got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, there's no reconciliation. Somebody's like, nah, I'm good. Child, this is crazy. It says what I'm saying is the truth. 
Somebody wants somebody to spin the block, 34, 44 on the clock, you could be seeing 444 is a confirmation that you are going the right way and that you closed out the right door. Somebody ain't never coming back. I was like, no. If once somebody tried to interfere with somebody's job, their workplace, okay, co-workers plotting on you, take that as it resonates. And then they're bringing drama with the arrest warrants and all that. Somebody was like, no, nah, I'm, I'm good. Whatever type of drama this is, even if they were just overly like communicating, you know, like calling, texting, texting, whatever it was, somebody could be like, I'm at work. That's still job interference. So take it as it resonates. Show me this Queen of Swords. Five of Pentacles. <laughs> I want to act like I'm surprised, you know, but I would be like a bad actress in doing so. But I just, I can't say that I didn't see this coming. You know, okay, let's just say that, okay? Five of Pentacles, somebody's ass is being abandoned and left out in the cold because somebody is like saving their peace. Somebody's like, nah, I'm good, good. Five of Pentacles, they feel abandoned. The one time somebody thought somebody was going to spin the block, they're not spinning that block anymore. Confirmation. Judgment. Judgment. Something could have got legal, though. I'm going to be honest with this judgment. Clarify the arrest warrants. What happened here? Child, it's over. Somebody got a getting a restraining order and going towards somebody else. They could be relocating to find peace with the world. The world could represent the World Wide Web. The world could represent... The atlas, you traveling to another state, another city, another town, anywhere that this person is not, this is where you're going. You're making it very, very clear with the ace of swords and you're going towards somebody that matches your fly, matches your energy, high vibration, the emperor to the empress. This is beautiful. I like it. Listen, and somebody is sitting up really losing their shit. Nine of swords. Somebody's going crazy because they know that you are going to give equal give and take to somebody else with the six of pentacles. Okay, this is not a one-sided deal. Somebody is equally mirroring you with the Empress energy and the Emperor energy. Somebody is your match. Yeah, somebody could be praying for. Yeah, the hermit. Look, you're minding your business, staying to yourself, keeping your endeavors private with the Four of Pentacles, keeping like whatever you got going on, nobody knows. With the Seven of Swords, whatever moves you're about to make, nobody knows with the hermit. You know, they don't know where you're going, where you're, who you're focused on. And somebody's trying to watch somebody to see if they're watching you. You're in the high priestess energy. Somebody's in the nine of swords and judgment. What is this legal situation? Something about an arrest warrant, child. I feel like whatever it is, you're getting some type of a victory. Somebody was painting illusions, possibly. Okay. Somebody could have been trying to get this emperor caught up in a legal situation. Seven of Cups is illusions, okay? Eight of Swords, this person has some type of victory even in court, spiritual court, and it's a wrap. Whatever it is, somebody pushed the envelope. Like something was like the final straw. Somebody went too far and it really left a bad, nasty taste in this person's mouth, literally. And they're like, I'm never coming back. But I feel like too, there's a lot of accountability from this emperor. Somebody knows what they were dealing with and what they were allowing. And somebody's like, yo, why am I allowing this? I don't want to allow this. I'm better than this. And even if I have to do it alone, even if I have to go at it alone, it meaning life, so shall it be with the nine of pentacles, solo dolo, single self-sufficient. It's better than being in this weird ass, you know, roller coaster ass energy, like up and down, bipolar, hating, fighting, whatever. Then having sex this is weird. Somebody's like, nah, I don't want that. Like, nah, King of Cups. Somebody's deciding to love on themselves. You know, when I think of the King of Cups, I think of taking care of your physical body, your spirit. Yeah, look, seeing something from a different perspective with the hangman, realizing that you're not stuck in a circumstance because you freed yourself. Eight of Swords in the reverse is somebody who is saying, I'm not going to play the victim to a victimizer. It's just not, you know, this, this victimizer is very miserly. You know, they're very manipulative. Queen of Swords in the reverse is child manipulative. They play mind games and somebody could have tried to make somebody jealous. Six of Swords, this man is healing, honey. 
He's sailing to common waters. He's getting away. He could be going across a body of water with the six of swords. And by this child ain't got no time for you. Listen. And he's not even a child anymore. He's coming up as a king. King of cups. Look at this. This is beautiful energy. Ooh, sure. Temperance, this person is praying diligently. Ten of cups. They want to be happy. And they will be. Somebody's angels are making this happen. They're just saying, you know, the fact that this person's taking accountability. Because it's one thing to get away from a toxic situation, you know, and go within. You then have to uh, hold yourself accountable to what it is that you've allowed. Then you got to sit down long enough, which I think this person is doing in the Four of Swords. They're meditating with the Hermit energy. They're taking accountability for what it was that they allowed. They're extracting the wisdom. I don't feel like this person is blaming this other person, this Queen of Swords in the reverse, because they know this person would not have done anything, least they allowed it. And now somebody's saying, you know what? No, okay, I'm not allowing that no more. Somebody's setting a boundary and it's driving somebody up the doggone wall. Watch out for this one because she is pissed. You could work with this person, toil and labor, maybe. Or they know where you were. Justice. Yeah, they're trying to get you caught up in some some type of something. I don't know what this is, but it's it's illegal. Okay? Or something illegal like plotting, planning to try to get you set up. But it's like, I already see here that you get a victory. Because somebody's painting some type of an illusion. Possibly to the justice system. With justice and judgment and seven of cups is an illusion. Six of wands to win at all costs. This is somebody that is trying to interfere with what it is that you do to get where it is you want to go. Three of pentacles. There's some type of uh, extra collaboration. Somebody could be behind the scenes hating too with this person or helping this person. Child, whatever it is, I shuffled this card and it's still coming out. Somebody is in anxiety, depression, stress. Something is not working out. However they planned it, it's like you're dodging these towers. If somebody's like, okay, so we're going to do it today. It's Tuesday. That's the one day you don't go to work. <laughs> or somebody's waiting for you at the end of the block. And then that one particular day, your spirit team says, no, nah, don't go there first. Go to the store first, then make a left, right? And somebody's waiting down there to, you know, to start some type of drama, child. Mm -mm. It's a hell to the no for this masculine and his spirit team. And that's just what it is. Yeah, look, three of cups. Three of cups, honey. Somebody's trying to get in the middle of your two of cups. Somebody want to be the meat between two slices of bread. And baby, the bread ain't thick enough. It's soggy over here. It's nasty, rancid energy. Yeah, somebody's in the nine of swords. Because they know that you're going towards somebody that you are marrying. This is your person. The moment you found yourself divine masculine, you found your divine feminine. Period. This is about self-love, self-respect, who you want to share your body with, detoxing from people and their spiritual energies and toxic entities and soul ties or whatever the hell this was. You detoxed. And once you were able to detox and get away from this energy, you were able to see a little bit more clearly your responsibility in this. Look at you coming up as the Hierophant. The Hierophant represents getting, you know, counsel from your higher self, from the higher realms, getting spiritual downloads, listening to the most high, you know, adhering to your responsibility and everything that is taking place. Somebody literally took the wheel to the car of life and started to just drive their own car and you pushed somebody's ass out on the road and that's just what it was supposed to be. You could have had some trash bags in the back. In case you had to drop the trash off. That's what I see. This It's like, no, bitch, you can't ride shotgun no more. Your time is up. Why are you not clocking out? I keep telling you, no, I don't want you. And somebody wants to turn back the hands of time and put you in this knot of wands energy. So however they're trying to persuade you, it could be on a sexual level. You know you want this. You know you this. And then they flip on you. Well, F you. Da -da 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 -da. Then they come back. Well, I, I really love you. You know, just all over the place. Okay? This shit might have been cute to you in your page of wands, knight of wands energy. But somebody's a full-grown man in the emperor now. Somebody's like, nah. Nah. You, you, you making my blood pressure go up. Listen, somebody grew up. <laughs> Yeah, look at this. Knight of Swords energy. Knight of Swords is like talking, having conversations, but also standing up for yourself. Knight of Swords is like 
getting the gumption, getting the balls, getting the gall. 44, 44 on the clock, standing up for yourself. Listen, child, this is crazy. And this is why you're in alignment, will of fortune. This is beautiful energy. Holy Spirit, beautiful angels, as I call my spirit back, please and thank you. Close this door. Any evil eyes, I spy, evil eye, you spy, they spy, I spy, evil eye, they spy. It. Listen, let that shit fall down immediately. All evil eyes have gone blind anyway. Anybody focused on the divine collective, me, this platform, or any other platforms that are telling the truth, child, your evil eye is just a waste of time. You need to go take your vision and focus it on something else. Definitely refocus it on something other than this masculine. Because the more you watch this person go into their nine of cups, ten of pentacles with their love and all that, it's just going to keep you in the nine of swords, queen of swords in the reverse. Somebody's getting a tower, a harsh reality, okay? Page of cups, they want to cry, they make up, then they want to fight, then they want to... Somebody is like, they cannot believe that this person is not spinning the block again, okay? Something used to work. Could have been a little sex magic in there too with the devil and the doggone knight of wands, you know? Maybe something felt good for the time, and, and, and maybe somebody's out of time. But listen, they hate you. You know that. There's other people involved, too, kind of watching from the background. Fake love, secret haters, so watch out, because somehow they could be collaborating with this Queen of Swords in the reverse. If it's not an air sign, it's a bitter, bonny-ass bitch. And that's the truth. I love y'all so much. Drop a heart down below. Show some love all over the world. Do 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 righteous justice and or judgment over the situation, so shall it be, so shall it be rendered quickly, fast, and in divine order. And it is, I love y'all, I do. I send you so much love and light. I will see you in the next video. Until then, as always, peace be with you.